welcome back to Grace's room. So I actually had other plans for a video today. Um, the weather's been really nice these last few weeks, but sadly today when I was about to film, the weather turned and now it's very stormy and I've been forced to film inside. So uh, I thought, I know I've done like some other makeup routines in the past and some other tutorials, but I've never actually shown you guys my everyday makeup routine, just my go-to makeup routine when I'm just going somewhere really casual. So I thought I'd show it to you guys today. It's very simple, not a lot of products involved um, and it's just nice because it like covers up any spots on my face, but also enhances some certain features. So let's start. So the first thing that I like to do is prep my skin. Skincare is very important before you put on makeup because it ensures that like you've got a smooth base and that your skin isn't being too suffocated by all the products you're putting on it. Um, so I've already cleansed my face just to get rid of any oils and stuff like that. And now I'm gonna put on some um, moisturizer. This one here is from Eco by Sonia. Um, and this is obviously just gonna hydrate my face. Okay, so that's um, as much as I do as far as skincare. Uh, and now it's time to um, start with the makeup. The first thing that I like to do is put on a primer. Uh, primer is also very important because it also gives you a very smooth base. This one here, um, I've just recently started using because I had some really good reviews about it. It's from Milk Makeup. It's the Hydro Grip Primer. It's got a very sticky consistency, but supposedly um, it's good because it sort of like tightens your skin a little bit. So it just helps like um like foundation and like concealer to stick to your face. I think that's what it does, but I've used it a couple of times and I think it makes my um base look like really good. So I'm going to continue using it. I'm just gonna let that dry a bit first because it still feels a little bit wet on my skin. So now that my face is all primed, um, it's time to go in with some makeup. And um, I learned this technique, um, I think I showed it in my recent trying testing TikTok makeup hacks video by this girl um, called Michaela. She recommended like uh, using this Hydra Group primer and then putting on a pot concealer over like any spots that you want to cover up. Um, so I do have a couple of like little pimples and stuff and some scarring that I wouldn't mind uh, covering up. So I'm going to go in with that, my Benefit uh, Boing Concealer, it's just a pot one. It's very um, thick and it's good because it just really covers up any um, pimples on my face. Just take a bit on like a flat brush and then I'll go over the spots with it and then I kind of just let it sit for like a minute or two just so it sort of dries down and when I blend foundation over it, it doesn't like ruin it. Okay, I think that the pot concealer has dried down now and um, I am now going to go in with some foundation. This one here is um, from Beauty Blender, it's the Bounce Foundation. This is really nice. Um, usually I use the Morphe 2 foundation. It's really nice um, for an everyday look just because it's very uh, light. But I haven't gotten it in a summer shade yet. I'm very tanned at the moment because um, I have been away. Um, I went RVing in like South Australia, so I did get pretty tanned there. Uh, and that is a very light shade, the Morphe one, so that's why I've been using this one lately. It maybe is a little bit more full coverage than the Morphe one, but I still like it. It matches my skin very well. I've only recently started using foundation for like um, my everyday makeup. I didn't usually like to. Um, use it things because I thought that it would like look too cakey um, but I have started using it more and I think it actually looks really nice and it sort of just covers up any spots that I want to cover up my foundation is all blended in now um, and you might be able to tell but using that pop concealer definitely helps because it's definitely covered up all the spots um, so I love using that technique now I'm gonna go in with um, some concealer this one's um, a little bit lighter than my skin tone because 
Um, I like to use it like under my eyes and just a little bit um, on my forehead and my nose because it helps sort of just highlight certain areas on your face. Concealer is all blended as well um, and now my face is kind of looking very like pale at the moment so that's why I like to go in with some contour next. Uh, usually I would just use bronzer once I've like set my face but I've been recently using um, this contour stick from Fenty Beauty and I really like it because it's not too pigmented and like not too dramatic. It's a nice just sort of everyday contour and it just sort of helps um, like sculpt your face a bit. And then usually I'll blend that with a um, sponge because it can be a little bit stubborn sometimes, this contour. And like usually maybe once I blend it with the sponge, I'll go in with the brush after that just to make sure it definitely looks blended. So the next thing that I do is um, I set my face with some setting powder. This one's from Laura Mercier. Um, and I've also recently been using a, um, what are they called, a powder puff? Um, because I heard that it's really good because it really like presses the powder into your skin. So I'm not really sure how you use it like correctly, but what I usually do is I just take some powder, dip the puff in and then just sort of press it under my eye and everywhere I put concealer. Once I've done that, I'll just take a really fluffy brush and just brush away any extra powder. There we go. So now I've only just got a couple uh, products left for my base. Um, next, I like to use some blush. I absolutely love blush. I, every, if, even if I'm just doing like a super duper simple makeup where I'm just using like a bit of concealer and mascara, I'll always wear some blush because I love blush. <laughs> and this one is from MAC. It's in the shade Peaches. I love this blush. Perfect. Um, and I think this is probably the final step for my base. Um, now I'm going to use some hi a highlighter. This one is one I got recently from R.E.M. Beauty, Ariana Grande's new makeup line. Um, and it's in the shade Miss Satin. It's such a pretty like um, champagne color. I love using it. And I just use it um, a little bit on my cheekbones just to sort of add a bit more of like a glowy look to my face. I love using highlighter as well. Hey, I'm just looking at all the products in here, like wondering what I've got to do next. Now I'm going to do um, my brows. I honestly do not have a brow routine um, just yet. Like, I'm not sure what to do because uh, I mentioned this before, but I have a big scar right here in my eyebrow. Um, bumped into my couch when I was like three, split it open. <laughs> um, so I kind of, I try to fill it in, but I feel like every time I fill it in, it like looks too blocky this brow and it just doesn't like match up so well so I kind of I do have a couple of gaps in my eyebrows so I just sort of like to brush it up with this um, brush this is from Anastasia um, and just fill in any tiny gaps but honestly it's probably not the best I can do I really need to work on my brow routine but maybe for another video <laughs> And then I'll just take, this is also from Anastasia, just a clear brow gel and brush my eyebrows so that little hairs don't go everywhere during the day. <laughs> okay, um, oops, almost done. Now I'm going to put on some mascara. Cannot go anywhere without putting on mascara. I have pretty short lashes, so kind of need it. I mean... Short lashes are fine, I just personally like having them a little bit longer, so the first thing I do is curl them. And then I'm going to go on some mascara. I'm currently using this one from Maybelline, um, it's Total Temptation. I really like this one, just makes my lashes look 
nice and long. I'll often put on mascara before I do anything um, on my eyes like eyeshadow or anything just because I always manage to get mascara on my lid. Sometimes I'll do two coats of mascara but like just for an everyday look I'll just do one. Um, surprisingly I managed to not get mascara all over my eyelids just a little bit so I'll quickly remove that. Okay, almost done, almost done. Um, I just usually like to take a little bit of bronzer um, or just like any sort of brown eyeshadow. Just get this like this, ooh, made a bit of a mess there. And I just take this like really big um, brush and I sort of just blend a little bit of it just into the crease of my eye. Just, I don't know, I just kind of, I can't explain why I do this. I just think it looks nice. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, now the last thing um, is lipstick. Uh, usually I end up with a lot of foundation on my lips, so I just like to get a bit of makeup remover and take it off of my lips. I feel like it makes so much of a difference, like while I'm doing my makeup, as soon as I take off foundation from my lips, it just sort of makes it look a lot less cakey. But um, I've been doing this like on my lips for like oh, two years or something now but I take this um, really subtle red lipstick from Bite Beauty just to kind of add a little bit of pigment to them give them a nice little rosy look I just put, oh that's on my teeth <laughs> I just put a little bit on them and sort of blend it out with my finger just so they look nice and red and then I'll take this uh, lip gloss from Clarins I know it looks orange, it doesn't look orange when you put it on. It's just like a nice clear lip gloss. And I put it on my lips. I love this lip gloss, it's just so glossy, it's so pretty. Definitely recommend this one. Um, actually it's a lip oil, I said lip gloss, it's a lip oil. Anyway, and now last step is setting spray. Setting spray is very important. This one's just from Rare Beauty. Just drown my face in that. Dry a little bit. And that is my everyday makeup routine. I know I said there wasn't a lot of steps involved, but there were a little bit. Um, but I don't know, this is just what I feel like works for me. Honestly, I'll probably look back at this in a couple of months and be like, oh, I should not have done that and everything. But this is just what I like to do. I think it looks pretty natural. And yeah, I really like doing it. Sometimes I'll even simplify this makeup routine um, further and I'll just do mascara and conceal if I'm in a rush, but this is often what I'll do just if I'm going somewhere casual. But uh, I know my makeup routine isn't perfect, but hopefully maybe it was a little bit helpful to any of you guys if you're looking for some inspiration for your makeup routine. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my Instagram at Grace's World Official, and I'll see you guys next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now.